Hey. Hey, police department. You're flashing the light at no, me. No, I'm not. This is flashing. Oh, now you're validating who I am personally. I and I don't have to identify myself okay. as a woman or a man. I come from fucking New York. I come from a different state. But guess what? I got a son that served in a motherfucking country. You're going to be sued. You and just I spit on me? you going to be sued. God is looking down on you. <laughs> What's my sex? What's my gender? What is my gender? I come from New York. Sit down. I come from New York. On December 12th of 2023, a routine evening at a Jonesboro motel took a dramatic turn when police received a call about a theft. The suspect, a woman named Octavia, who was from New York, was accused of stealing a laundry basket from the motel's laundry room, an item that belonged to another guest. Unbeknownst to Octavia, her actions were captured on the motel's CCTV cameras, and what began as a simple theft of a laundry basket quickly spiraled into a much more serious situation. I had a basket in the laundry room, and I did my laundry. When I went and did my laundry, I left the basket in there. So when they got done drying, I could put it in the basket. Mm -hmm. and my husband went down to check, see if it was done. He was out in the truck, he went in to see if it was done washing. And he was gone. And he said, he called me, he said, did you get the basket? And I was like, no. And he was like, well, it's gone. So I called my desk. And I was like, I know y'all got cameras. Somebody took my basket. I don't got nothing but that basket to get my clothes out. It's actually my mama's basket she loaned it to me. She said she seen him took the basket. She went up there and tried to get the basket from the lady, and the lady said, prove that I did it. Tell her to come down here and prove. She can't tell me the room number, and I, I don't want her to tell me the room number, because then you'll be taking us both to jail, to be honest. Because I just lost everything. It's right before Christmas, and you stole my basket. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even the basket. It's the principal. Yeah. Um, the lady's here in the hotel. She's she been drinking, apparently. I thought she was a man. My husband thought she was a man. She thought she was a man. But anyways. She's here in the hotel, she got my basket, and I just want the basket back. That's all. all right, so if she is on camera. Oh, yeah, she's on camera. Okay. All right. It's a white basket. It's still got the sticker in the bottom of it, and it's got the little, it's just a ring laundry basket. Okay. I'm going to see if I can load Karen, then we're going to go. Okay. Let me get this. Say less. I'll be in here. Say less. Okay. I told her I can't get her to work. Yeah. And which is very understandable. I can't, the cameras, this is the only camera, these are the only cameras. I know who took it. I seen her take it. I called my boss earlier. I really don't want to call her bad because so we try not to bother her. But um, the girl in 320 took it. I called her room when my boss told me to do call y'all and she because she seemed a little intoxicated. Okay. But she was like, um, did you see her? I said, yes, I seen her take the basket. But um, she was like, tell her to come to my room and prove that it's hers and all that. But she won't give me back. So. All right. Well, hey, can we, can we go up there? Yeah. So get this basket yes, but you did, you did see her take the basket. Mm -hmm. The motel staff promptly reported the incident to their manager, who instructed them to inform Octavia that she was no longer welcome at the motel and needed to leave immediately. To enforce this decision, the manager requested police assistance to remove Octavia from the premises. An officer responded to the call, and after consulting with his sergeant, received confirmation to proceed with entering Octavia's room. So she wants the lady that took the basket, she wants her to be removed from the property. And she wants me to write, well, I gotta write a statement, and so this other lady, and I had to change her um, her departure date to tomorrow because she wants her out of the hotel and she's still in. Okay, so she wants to remove right now. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, I asked her legally, can I go ahead and let you in the room with the key? She said she don't know, so. Let me call my sergeant. Since, you, okay. since they want her removed. Because I have a, this is the master key. And okay, they, since they want her removed from the property, mm -hmm. uh, that's different. Now that they want her removed from the property. Mm -hmm. um, did, she, did she open the door for no. you? Uh, the neighbor said it was a dude. It's, it's a dude. It's not a, they think it's a dude, it's a girl. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, 
that's a, if they want the person to be gone, I probably can assist them in regards to uh, doing that. All right, to the force so she has, so she can let us in. I'm gonna just call for another unit and she let us yep. in. A second officer arrived to assist, and together they confronted Octavia. And when the officers entered her room, they were met with an unexpected reaction. Police department. Hey, police department. Hey. Police department. Hey. Hey. Hey, police department. You need to leave. Get some clothes on. Get all your stuff. You hear me? Yeah. The hotel wants you gone. Yeah, so you're going to have to get your stuff and leave. You're going to be banned from here. From where? From, from here. here? The room? The, the hotel. whole hotel. You're going to be the criminally banned. residency. You're criminally banned. Why? Because they don't want you here. Listen to me, because I didn't do nothing. You said I'm criminally being. Yes, that means if you come back on the property, you're going to jail. They have well, the flash right. the light at me, please. They, it's not flashing. You are flashing the light at no, me. No, not. This is flashing. Turn okay, it off. This is not flashing. Turn it off, because I didn't do nothing criminally and impossible. To didn't me. say you've done something criminally. I said you're criminally banned. So you're banning you from this place. So you mean you can flash the flashlight in my face? No, What's that's it? not in your face. It's not about the flashlight. We're pointing. It is. Out. I'm talking to. Please, sir. I'm talking to him because I did not do nothing. Well, the hotel wants you gone, so we need you to get up, get some clothes on, get your belongings, and leave the premises. What for? What, my lord? I'm do sorry. What? What'd you say? What for? I'm on. You, I'm. Floor. F L O O. What floor are you on? You're on the third floor. What room? Do you not know where you're at? No. Room 320. Where's my belongings? In this room. You look at this? Okay. Look, so this is what we're... I'm asking This is what we're not going to do. Here. We're not going to play this on. game. So I have to ask you this because you're asking me to leave, right? Well, no, so we're not asking we're, you to leave. We're telling you to leave. Well, guess what? And I need to get my belongings. Yes, that's, get them. That's what I just so, said. You said I'm in room 320, right? I'm gonna. I need him to move back so I can move my legs and get my stuff. There you go, get your stuff. My clothes is in here. Go, go get them. Don't talk to me like that because I'm not doing nothing to okay. you, sir. I'm, I'm politely telling you where my and, stuff is and at. We're telling and you I don't lady. come from your town, so I'm politely mm -hmm. telling you where my stuff is at. Okay, we'll get your things. No, no, no. It's not get my things. You tell me to get out. No. So I'm telling you, my suitcase is here. Okay, well, my get, phone is here. Get your belongings. Get your, put your clothes on. Get your no, clothes on. No, 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 no. I have no clothes on, so certain. my clothes is here. My clothes is there. I'm going over here, and I don't want to be violated. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody's violating you. You see what I'm doing, right? Sir, and I still ask you to politely turn this light I'm not going to turn the light off. Okay, well, get what you got to get. Because here's the two phones. Here's a suitcase that's empty. There's a drawer there. There's a closet there. There's clothes there. There's a living room there. By the
piece of trash. It's this. You go, you go flash it, you go right up. But Showtime owes me. So if y'all want to play with me, you can play with me right now. And you can, you can ask about my name a million and one times, and I'm telling you this, don't, don't violate me. If you violate me, you're going to violate your whole fucking town. Have you ran? Mm -hmm. Nah, you don't got to run nothing. Yeah. Do you, you have an ID? Mm -hmm. Do you know where your ID is? I asked y'all a million and one times. I told you where myself was at, right? And I asked you to move back so I could get myself. I'm just asking. And I don't... I don't have an what's, your, what's your first and last name? I don't know. I don't have an ID. Okay. Okay. Well, then we can just go to jail for failure to identify. How about that? Is that what you want to do? I told you all my stuff is in here. I just asked you what your first and last name was. I asked this name. And you said you don't know, you don't have an ID. Yeah, I got an ID. I have iPhones. This is my ID. Medical and everything. So, okay, then if, your if, ID if, if you want to play with me, I told you my wallet was in here, my clothes was in here, that's there, and please get this light out of my, my face. The it's not in your, in your face. face. You said what? The light is not in your face. No, hold on, hold on. You said medically, you're not doing what? Nobody said anything about medically. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. So, sir, I ask you again, I don't need to identify my sexually beings. You do have to give us identification. I, I didn't say identification. I said sexually no, beings. We're asking you for identification. Let me get my shit and I will give it to you. I didn't say I had to not give it to you. I said I did not have to identify who I was. That's identification. Go ahead, do what you got to do. Well, get, get up and get your stuff so we can get... I asked y'all politely, here's the phones, again, and let me get myself set back. Or oh, now you're violating who I am personally, whole being, mm -hmm. feet to toes, head to toe, whatever you want to consider it. Please move back. Let me get myself because I don't want to feel like I'm uh, incriminating you. You're not incriminating me. Well, sir. Your stuff's in this closet, right? The drawer, the floor. The drawer, the floor. The closet. Okay, then get your stuff. Crawl over the bed, get your stuff. No, nah, I'm not doing that. So and that now I'm going to do this. Because I done told you... You asked me a question, right? And I gave it to you. I don't have to. You you telling me that I'm valid? Are you refusing to leave now? No, I'm not. No, I refuse it. Let's go, sir. My pants is right there, right? Here, the phone is right here. Both the phones. I'm not gonna lie to you about anything. In the bathroom. Search the pants. Don't just fan it. Because my wallet. Huh? Put your stuff on. You asked me for a wallet, right? Identification, right? Put your stuff on. Oh, so now it's... Is it put my stuff on or is it identification? Which one is it? I don't care about no fucking hats. Well, put put your clothes on. You asked me for identification, right? Did you ask me for identification? I did ask you for identification. You didn't ask me for identification? I did. I told you my clothes, I went in the bathroom, right? I don't feel good. My clothes was there, you threw it here. I said, I, I can't get <laughs> nothing because... The Lord says, put your hands up. So I said, get the clothes in. Sorry, please, don't shoot me. 
No, here, here. I don't know. I don't know. No, here's my hands. Here's my hands. You can lock me up. My phones is okay. right there. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen if you go to jail. All your stuff that's in here. It don't matter. It's gonna be the hotels. Nah, I could go to jail. Showtime only. So you can go ahead. So if you I'm want not to resisting stuff, arrest. I'm not resisting arrest. I did nothing wrong. Listen to what I'm telling you. No, I didn't do nothing wrong. So here's the here's my hands, here's my feet, here's my Are face. Are you listening to me? Do what you gotta do. Are you listening to me? Do what you gotta do. Right. They don't want you here. You have to hey, 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 I'm not resisting. You have to Yeah, hey, I'm not resisting. We're here to tell you you have to go. And I under, I understand. And here's my hands. Then get your stuff and go if you understand. Oh, no. I can't get my stuff and go because guess what? I can't even flash my ID. So at this you point. Can flash your ID. Nah, at this point, here's my hands. Here's my face. Here's my legs. I'm not doing nothing. Arrest me. So you're refusing to leave? Nah, I'm not refusing to leave. Everything in this apartment yours? I, I'm refusing to get up. Everything is mine. Okay. I got here December 4th. My company owned it. I got two phones here. And guess what? I refuse to deal with the surrogation shit that y'all put mm -hmm. people through. And yeah, Showtime, how you doing? I'll tell you. And if y'all think it's a joke, Octavia, what? What's your last name? You know, you you got you got ID and wallets. Here you go, and you got phones, iPhones, two. Go ahead, go do what you gotta do because I'm not fighting no cop. I'm not resisting arrest. Nobody said anything about. Phones. I'm not fighting no cop. I'm not resisting arrest. I ask you to do what you gotta do. You got everything where you need to point it at. Take care of what you got to take care of. I'm not fighting no cop. At all. Have you used any narcotics? Because you're acting really restrained. Yeah, I smoke cigarettes. Okay. I smoke cigarettes. A town that I, I'm not heavily, I'm spiritual. I'm not okay. Bible. But there's the 14. There's the Etard. I'm not worried about your phones. I'm telling you this. And I'm laying here for a reason like this. If you violate my stuff. And I'm telling you to get a woman here and I don't have to identify who the fuck I am because I'm not from Arkansas and you violate my stuff and not identify who I am, you're going to pay for it. Yo, they're going to physically stand me up. Well, I guess we'll physically have to carry you out too then. Yeah. So 320... I've been wrong so you're gonna go to jail for criminal trespass? Um, yep, yep, yo, criminal trespass. And I've, I've already explained. To, listen to me. I've already explained I've to been you. you. I've already Showtime. explained to you. I've been here since. I've already explained to you. You're gonna go to jail for criminal trespass. I know. Okay. All your stuff that's in here. You want your criminal trespass? You can't come back here. I can, cause guess what? No, you can't. You physically, as a man, two men here. Okay. You didn't get a woman officer. I and I don't you. have to identify myself okay. as a woman or man we didn't because ever I'm ask not that. born here. We didn't ever ask you that. We asked for a no, night of birth. No, you did. Young officer okay. did. Stand and I up. told him, no, I'm not standing okay. up because I'm a woman and you violate my rights. Now you violate my rights as a woman. I'm a woman, now you violate me. Okay. Now, hey, I'm born a woman, I'm transgender. New York. And my phones is in my pockets. Oh, my chest looks better than yours. I know what it is. I come from fucking New York. I come from a different state. We can, we can go ahead. I come from New York. I come from New York. You gonna violate me? When they find out that you violating me, and I don't come from out here, you gonna get sued. I'm a woman. 320. This is not what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do this. We have to start. Yo, they taking my phone. NYC. Buffalo. You're going to be violated. I promise you. Oh, Harry.
I'm happy about you Very today. Shallow, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. I am. Because guess what? You gonna be violating my rights for no reason, man. That's what I'm saying to you. And I don't have to identify who I am because I'm I'm not born from here. I'm not a resident. I'm a contractor helping you guys out. Well, we appreciate that. No, nah, you don't appreciate it because my but face. But you still, like it. you still have to identify yourself. You no, don't no, have no, to no. identify. I told you where the stuff is at. I don't have to physically tell you. Yeah. I told you where everything was at, and you violated me still. So I'm gonna ask you again. What's your name? I still don't have a picture of you though. It doesn't matter. It how old are need you? A picture. In New York, they don't need a picture. Now, how, old, how do we know if that's you? Go where you need to go. When Showtime sue your oh, fucking ass, right. then you gonna know. <laughs> that's where you gonna know. Good when Showtime get a whiff of this shit, and when my company get a whiff of this shit, Free to Lay. When Free to Lay and Showtime get a whiff of this shit, then you gonna know. And I'm telling you that. That's it. I said it the pit. I ain't fucking scared of no motherfucking pit. But you ain't gonna value me no more. They know what my face looks like because they take plenty of pictures. You understand what I'm saying? 197. As a matter of fact, before you did this to my motherfucking side of my you might be famous one day for it's fucking with me. And you can't go back there either. You're banned. It doesn't matter. You're banned you from there. You guys are gonna be sued because you're done violating my personal Property, which God gave me, right? That's what you want to say? God gave me that? You violated my godly beings. You took my ID, you took my phone, and I'm in a Showtime movie. Let's talk about it. It comes out March 9th, the second one. The first one is on Tubi. It's called The Aggressives. If you think I'm fucking lying, you're going to be fucking sued out your ass. Out your ass! I'm gonna make your mama pay for your mother, my motherfucking lawsuit for me to eat. That's how bad you gonna be sued. Hey, you took my ID, you took my tool. But guess what? I got a son that served in a motherfucking country. He's still in New York. With all my shared information, you motherfuckers, that's how you fall. <laughs> so that's how you fall. That's how you fall. That's how you get fall. You understand that? Serve the fucking United States of America. Army. <laughs> What's your phone number? Take me straight to the jail because you violated my rights. What's your phone number? I don't got no phone number. You got, you got two number. phones? Take me to the jail. The jail's going to know my phone numbers. Showtime know my phone numbers. My son that served in the Army know my phone numbers. That matters. That's it. Take me straight to the jail. I ain't got no address. I ain't got no phone, right? I ain't got no identity. That's what you said, right, son? <laughs> Take me straight to the jail. What's my sex? What's my gender? What is my gender? You identify me? What's my gender? I didn't ask that part of it. You need to ask that. I asked for a name and date of birth. That's Christian based, right? And if you're Christian based, you're supposed to save everybody, right? What's my motherfucking gender? So you violated me as a gender, right? Because you thought I was something else. So what's my gender, right? What's my gender, sir? God is looking down on you. Trust me. God looking down at you. Abraham and all the rest of them is looking down at you. So if you think that you're Sanctified. Even while being escorted to the detention center, Octavia continued her defiance, threatening to sue the officer and also spat on him multiple times. She claimed that she had asthma and was using it as an excuse for her behavior. You understand that? You hear me? You gonna be sued. You and just spit on me? You gonna be sued. You just spit on me. No, I ain't spit. I cough. No, I you just spit cold. on me and it's no, on video. I ain't spit shit. That's you like, spit all over my arm and my hand. No, I got COVID, man. And you got me in here with COVID with asthma. Without my asthma pump. You got my shit, right? <coughs> I asked 
asked you to get my asthma pump at least. You couldn't even fucking get You never that, right? asked that. Huh? You never asked that. I did. It was in a suitcase. Near your feet. We asked you to get all your stuff and you didn't need Nigga, it. I told you to get where it was at. You think I'm going to get up and get my shit in the town I don't know nothing about? That's why I told you where it was at. I told you where it was at. And I laid there without no problems. Feet and hands behind my back. You better not spit on me again. I can't, I can't do nothing. You got me handcuffed here. I'm just telling so you better not. If I spit on you, it ain't nothing I can do. Yeah, you, you can turn your spit. head somewhere else and nah, not be spitting on me. Nah, I can't turn that like a hog. Quit spitting on me! <laughs> you just caught a fella. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking breathe. That doesn't give you a right to spit on me. I'm trying to fuck. It don't give you a right to violate me as a woman. You either. leaned up and you I, spit on me. I don't give a fuck. I got asthma. When I tell you you're going to be in fucking violation for violating me, I'm going to make sure they bury you under the motherfucking jail. I'm going to make sure the motherfucking criminals rape you so fucking hard, you don't forget that you have a fucking daughter and you did this to a fucking woman. I'm gonna make sure that you don't re you don't forget you did this to a person. I don't have to identify myself. Have you a got seat. my don't touch me. Have a seat. Hey, sit man, down, miss. I'm a woman. Sit down. I'm a woman. This man been sit violated. Sit down. I come from Showtime. Sit down. I come from yo. Keep sit on. down. Look, I come from Showtime. I got cuffs on. Look what he's doing. Yo, stay, Look, down. I'm still going. Sit down. Look, keep sit going. Down. Hey, my name is Octavio. I come from New York. Sit down. I come from New York. No, you come here. Miss, you come here, please. You are a woman. I'm a woman. It's female. Female? Yeah. That's what I'm at. No, he don't know shit because he violated me. Miss, please come here. He violated me. He violated me. He did. No, it's okay. He's laughing. They're all laughing, right? The joke is on me, right? But the joke is not on me. I'm from fucking New York. I did y'all a favor to help your town out. Be aware. Miss, what do you she do? does spit on me, so. He, I'm coughing. He choked me. Look at my face. Just calm down. Okay. Look at my face. I have okay. asthma. Okay. Where's my asthma? Miss, here, here, here. Here you go. He violated me. You know why? He thought I was a fucking guy. But it don't matter if I was a guy or a woman. You don't do that. But okay. guess what? What you need me to do, because when I get my two phones that they validated and my ID, because Showtime is reporting. I would bring your phones in. Shush, I don't want to talk to him no more. I want him to get out of my face. He's not in your face. I want him to get far away from What's me. your social? Well, let him finish what he needs to do so he can. I'm not giving him nothing. And if Showtime get away from me. Can you give me your social? Get him away from me. Okay. Get him away from me now. And I mean, get him away from me. Okay, okay. I'm going to go out and get your phones. He got two phones that was on recording with Showtime on it. Get him away from me, please. I'm, I'm going, going to get him. I'm going to get him. Octavia's actions that night led to her arrest on several charges, including felony aggravated assault against a first responder, a serious offense that carries significant consequences. In addition, she faced misdemeanor charges for second-degree criminal mischief and criminal trespass. Aggravated assault against a first responder is classified as a Class C felony, carrying a mandatory fine of $10,000 and a minimum sentence of 90 days in jail. Depending on the severity of the case, the sentence could extend to a maximum of of 10 years.